Hello guys, in this video, I will show how to find the derivative of trigonometric functions. To start, here are some formulas for finding the derivative of trigonometric functions. First, we have sine x. The derivative is cosine x. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. The derivative of tangent x is secant squared x. Now, for examples, uh, item number 1, f of x equals 5 sin x. The derivative of the function is equal to, so since we have a constant times a function, the constant multiple rule will apply here. So we simply need to copy 5 and multiply it by the derivative of sin x, which is cos x. And that's it. This is the derivative of the function. Number 2, f of x equals sin x plus 2 cosine x. So the derivative is equal to the derivative of sin x is cosine x plus then uh, constant multiple rule will also uh, is also applicable for this one. So we simply need to copy the constant and multiply it by the derivative of cosine x. And the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. So we have negative sine x. Then let's simplify. So we have cosine x. Then negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So uh, that's minus 2 sine x. This is the final answer. For number 3, we have f of x equals cosine x sine x. Uh, take note that we can apply the formulas directly that is we cannot simply get the derivative of cosine x here and multiply it by the derivative of sine x so since this is in product form we need to use the product rule so as i recall um, the derivative of a product let's say f and g uh, is equal to f times the derivative of g plus g times derivative of f. So in this uh, example, f is cosine x and sine is g. And then we, we simply need to follow that formula. Let's begin. So the derivative is equal to f cosine then multiply it by g, g prime, so which is derivative of sine. Derivative of sine is cosine. Then plus g, copy sine x. And multiply it by the derivative of f. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. Let's simplify. So we have cosine squared x. Uh, sine times sine and then uh, that's equal to sine squared x then we have negative one so we have negative sine squared x so this is the answer but we can also use uh, the double angle identity for cosine so this is also equal to cosine 2x Example number 4, we have f of x equals tangent cube x. Take note that this is the same as tangent x cube. And as you can see, this is a composition of functions u cube and tangent x. u cube is the outer function and tangent x is the inner function. Now, to differentiate this, we need to use the power rule combined with the chain rule. As I recall, uh, the formula for the derivative of a uh, power combined with the chain rule, let's say u raised to n, this is equal to uh, bring down n as a coefficient, copy the base, subtract 1 from the exponent, and multiply it with the derivative of the base. So now let's follow that formula. So f prime of x is equal to, now we will bring down 3 as a coefficient. Let's copy the base. So the base is tangent x. 
and then subtract 1 from the exponent. So that's 3 minus 1 is 2. And then multiply it by the derivative of the base. So u prime. The derivative of tangent x is second x, or sorry, second squared x. So multiply this by second squared x. So this is our final answer. For the next examples, we're going to consider functions that will require the use of chain rule. So, uh, let's discuss first the formulas. So, given sine u, so where u is another function, um, then its derivative is cosine u, which is the argument of sine. This is also the counterpart of inner function when I discuss the chain rule. So cosine u times the derivative of u with respect to x. So for cosine u, that is the derivative is also negative sine u which is the same as the derivative of cosine x. Copy also the argument and then multiply it by the derivative of the inner function u. So, following the uh, format or the pattern for sine and cosine, the derivative of tangent u with respect to x is equal to second squared u times the derivative of u with respect to x. Example, given f of x equals sine x squared plus 5, then its derivative, f prime of x, is, the derivative of sine is cosine, then copy the argument, and then multiply it by the derivative of the inner function or the argument. So multiply this by derivative of x squared plus 5, so that is 2x plus 0, so uh, 2x is the derivative, then let's uh, write this as 2x cosine x squared plus 5. And that's it, this is the final answer. Next example, f of x equals cosine 2x cubed plus x. Now, the derivative is equal to, derivative of cosine is negative sine, so we have negative sine u. So copy the argument. And then multiply it by the derivative of the inner function. The derivative of 2x cubed is 6x squared using the power rule. And the derivative of x is 1. Now let's rewrite this as negative 6x squared plus 1 sine 2x cubed plus x. And this is our final answer. As a practice, you may try solving for the derivative of sine squared x and tangent x cubed and share it in the comment section. That's all. Thank you.